I am interested to hear the conversations that will happen eventually at the reunion about the situation with John, Shannon. It, watching your devastation devastated me. But you're you're single, you're ready to mingle, you're doing well. How did we get to a good place? And you're also like friends with John again. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's as soon as either of us are in a relationship, that's of course gonna go by the wayside. And I would prefer not to be bitter, but we are never going to get back together. And what happened to me, and you will see it up to the last episode, what happened during this season, and then what happened one week later was devastating to me. And that's... And actually, the last time we were all here together was just a few weeks ago, we sat right there with John. Yeah. Oh. All of us were here well, with he, John. Yeah, yeah but here. it took Shannon a, a, a oh, few yeah. months before she was... for six months. Yeah. yeah. Before they got to a place where they could speak. Where yeah. Could speak. That's right. Yeah. So what was it like hanging out with him here at the Quiet Woman? Where like, what, what I want to hear I what wasn't, y'all thought. I wasn't here. Okay, but you've but, seen them together since. But I like John. Okay. I think John's a good guy. Um, and like when we we filmed Family Feud recently, and we were all going as couples, and Shannon said, you know. Do you mind if I bring John? I go, no. I didn't have anyone to bring. I didn't want to go alone. And Eddie Eddie likes John, and I like John, so it's, I don't know. We had fun when we were here. I mean, it, you guys were like buddies having fun. Yeah. Okay. Just, and that's it. And that's how it will be. Did you and John, were you ever able to make sense of what happened? No. And I don't think, I don't know that, I don't know that we. I ever will. I don't. But you still have questions, kind of. No, I, I don't. Ha I know. I mean, I know. I know. You know, as in in any relationship, you don't want it to end. I thought this was the person I was going to spend the rest of my life with. But when you take a step back, and I didn't speak to him for at least six months uh, after the breakup, you start to think and go, "Oh gosh, well we had that, or that we had that," and you realize that okay, maybe this is the best choice for us. And not necessarily red flags, just signs that it wasn't meant to be. Yeah, and I think a lot of people maybe would have seen some signs that weren't meant to be, but they weren't like major, like nobody's cheated on anybody, nobody's horrible, but I think like Shannon, Shannon wants to get married, Shannon wants to like settle down and have that forever person, and I think she kind of felt like, you know, I don't know if this is going to happen. It was, there was just a lot of bickering. Like you, there was no no major. Oh my God! You've got to walk away. It was just the bickering, bickering, bickering that it just and and that's not a way for anybody to look. So we couldn't we, we couldn't get past it. Was there anything that stood out to you, Taylor, that you saw that you were like? I did, the thing that was so upsetting to me is seeing you hurting because oh, I, I mean, didn't see I, that you didn't see it coming and I certainly didn't see it coming and getting close to you in the past year and then seeing your hurt I was no, like I, I, I felt so heartbroken for you. I get emotional thinking about it. I was really not good. Like I not good. was devastated and he, and and we broke up and I said can we please not talk about this publicly because I don't it was the holidays and I, I wasn't ready to deal with it. I needed to let it sink into me before people knew and and people didn't know for a good almost three months. So I was I was grateful for that. Yeah, of course, of course. What, did you do anything during that time to like focus on self care or get yourself to a better place? Like how did, I did. you did. I went I went to the golden door for a week and it just I kinda set myself back. It's this amazing spa in North County San Diego and and then I did come back and I got introduced to a person and I, I didn't want to go but I went for dinner and we ended up dating for four months. So and I was good. It was, it was good. A good transition. Yeah, it was yeah, and he, yeah. We we're not right for each other, but once again it was I had a good time. So. Yeah, it's great to like yeah. dip your toes back into for the sure. dating pool. No intimacy. Yeah. Oh, is that is that a rule for you? Yeah. Or you're just not yeah. there yet? No, actually. Oh, you're like, please, let's go. Yeah. Let's break this dry spell. <laughs> let's make it happen. I mean, within reason. But no, I'm like very conservative in that way. But for me, being intimate with someone, that's the ultimate connection. So if I'm having sex with someone, that means like we're pretty serious. So I'm not ready to be serious with anyone right now, I don't think. Well, you never know when Mr. Wright comes along. I know, yeah, you never do. That's how I, I meant. I went to the house on the sand that was going to be my bachelorette pad for a summer and I met John the day after I moved in. So there you go. It always happens when you least expect That's what I said. As, as Shannon's good friends, what kind of man are you envisioning for her? What kind of dude are we manifesting? What qualities are we looking for? I see this guy. He's like six foot two, kind of salt and pepper hair, 
a big build, successful, um, likes to have fun, but not doesn't want to drink too much. Okay. Like somebody that's established, some of their kids are going, I see it. I see it. It's going to happen. Thank you. I, for me, kind heart. Good guy. Kind heart. But so, when you think, when you factor the show into it, because you never know, is someone want to be on television? I would like to be with someone who thinks it's really cute yeah. that I'm on the show. And if he needs to show up one time or two, then he's great with that. But it's just kind of this silly cute thing that you're doing. You do, you go do that, sweetie. Well, yeah, because you both have a close friend who has had people that want to be on the show. Yes. 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 Which is annoying.